Nearly a week after a woman was stabbed to death while jogging in a park near her home, family and community members are calling for change. 10 TV's Danielle Elias joins us live to explain. Danielle. Glenn, it's been an emotional journey for those who knew Jane Jurgens, a mother of two who just started her own business and was said to be on her way up. A woman whose life was cut short by a teenager with a known history of violence. This is for the community and also with the family that we stand. A strong message to a community that has struggled so much over the past week. We thank you for the significance of Jane's life. 55-year-old Jane Jurgens was stabbed to death as she was jogging on the main trail of Ridgewood Park. Our lives have been touched by her energy and beauty and radiance. Tonight, people who live nearby came together, people who realized they too could have been on that same trail at the same moment. It's shocking that it could happen here. Windra Bear is only 14, a child now feeling adult-sized pain. She says she went to school with the accused killer and is a neighbor to Jurgens. My thoughts and prayers go out to her family. I'm so, so sorry that this happened. It's heartbreaking. But this vigil was more than just bringing people together. Jane meant the life to me. She meant love. She meant strength. It was about calling for change. We just feel that it's important to honor her memory to do this. Barbara Johnson shares with us a petition that's just been started to rename the park, plant a tree, and put up a bench with a plaque in Jurgen's honor. Her message? Spread Jane's love, her empowerment to people, and to take back their park and not to worry. And on a night like tonight, Jurgen's son, also grateful so many showed so much support. And, and she would say, go Bucks tonight. So thank you. Thank you for being here. Even with such grief, still a positive spirit. Now, I've also learned there is a growing support to change state laws by giving local communities the ability to regulate group homes, such as the one the teen was living in. So far, the cities of Westerville and Gahanna are said to be supporting the idea. Reporting live in the newsroom, Danielle Elias, 10TV News.